Romance is a 1993 crime romance and it is directed by Tony Scott and written by Quentin Tarantino. First of all, I want to thank Amelia Healy for recommending this movie to me. You recommended it like over a month ago and it took me, took me a while, as you can see, to watch it. But I finally did and boy, am I glad I did because this is pretty much, let's be honest, the final Quentin Tarantino movie that I have to watch because I watch all of his directorial films, I've also watched Natural Born Killers, From Dusk Till Dawn, all of the other movies that he has written, and this was the last one that I had to see. So this is kind of special, and honestly, this is an amazing film, fantastic, truly fantastic. And I fell in love with this rather quickly, it took me probably less than 10 minutes to fall in love with the film and with its characters because the film stars Patricia Arquette and Christian Slater. She is a call girl and he is a movie geek and fans of, fan of comic books and they meet each other in a movie theater watching martial arts films and uh, they fall in love, they marry each other and then a whole lot of things happen that involve violence, drugs, uh, Sicilian Mafia, it's, uh, it gets insane, it is, it is undeniably an over-the-top film, but both thanks to the direction by Tony Scott with his usual, some of his quick cutting, uh, weird camera angles that he uses, as well as the excellent, excellent script by Tarantino, which was almost followed by a T. I've read some of the scripts, some of the parts, it's pretty much identical except for the ending, which was much darker in the Tarantino version. But this was, yeah, this is an amazing film. First of all, the cast itself, this is truly one of the better casts in a Tarantino film. And I'm not even saying a Tarantino because this is equal part a film by Tarantino as it is a film by Tony Scott. And you can easily see more the influence of Tarantino in the dialogue, but the presentation itself, it is truly a Tony Scott film if you've seen Tropic <laughs> Thunder, if you've seen Top Gun, I meant to say, and Domino and some of his other more recent films before he passed away, sadly. But this is undeniably a great mixture of the two styles. And as I said, the characters, fantastic, because Tarantino manages to create memorable characters who have less than five minutes of screen time. And other than the main two leads, pretty much every other character appears no more than in one or two scenes in the film. And you've got so many great, basically, cameos in here from the famous and truly masterful scene between Dennis Hopper and Christopher Walken. You also got uh, Brad Pitt as a stoner. You got Gary Oldman as a wannabe Jamaican drug dealer. It's so many great actors that I don't want to spoil in this film. And everyone feels like a real cartoonish character, as they usually do in Tarantino films. And they all are marvelous. Everyone brings something to these characters that makes them memorable. And especially the key importance of this film are Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette. And if the relationship between these two characters didn't work, if their romance wasn't right, if the chemistry was off, this would have failed miserably. But as I've said, in the first 10-15 minutes of the film, you get to know who they are, you get to know what they like, how they are like, what they love, and I fell in love with them. It's, uh, it's, it's a great couple, it's, it's weird especially, and the film itself is full of weird moments, unexpected ones, full of dark comedy, and it, it has everything. It is a film that truly has everything. It has a great romance, it has some truly great action, which is very few and far between, but the one that's here is memorable, especially a scene between James Gandolfini and Patricia Arquette, which was brutal to watch, just truly hard-hitting. You've got... You've got thriller, you've got comedy, you've got rom, you've got everything. This is this is really one of those movies that I will put in a complete package category, you know? Those films that pretty much have almost every single aspect that I love in films, this one has it. And uh, I can safely say it's a personal favorite already. It's just been a little over a day since I watched it and uh, yeah, I'm still high on this film, also thanks to the soundtrack, not only the songs themselves, which are great, but the score by Hans Zimmer, 
Not only does the usual orchestral more dramatic music that he made during the pre-gladiator period, Crimson Tide and everything, but it also has the main theme, which is made with marimbas and xylophones, which gives this film this aura of innocence, of childlike wonder. And that's also kind of a theme of the film. I mean, these two characters, these two lovers, who are simple, who love each other, and uh, unfortunately they live in a world that uh, is very hard-hitting, it's not simple, there are many conflicting interests in that world, there is violence, there is criminal lives, it's a... It's a wonderful film. It's an excellent film, dare even say. I absolutely love this from beginning to end, if you can't tell. And again, thank you for recommending this film, I already forgot the name, sorry. But damn, I had to watch this film. I wanted to many years ago and now that I finally did, I am oh so glad because if I had to put this in a, in a <laughs> ranking of Tarantino films, it would easily be in the top five. And if I had to put this in a Tony Scott ranking, this would easily be number one. Like, outstanding. Outstanding. But still, guys, have you watched True Romance? Do you like it or you dislike it? Tell me in the comments below. So, if you're not sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.